Hello, Namaste and good morning, my dear students, my dear viewers. Today we are going to talk about the computer system, introductions of computer system, living in a digital world. In this video series, we are going to include technical terms, basic technical terms, introductions of computer systems, features of computer systems, advantages and disadvantages of computer systems as well as the uses of computer systems in different field for the different purposes. During this introduction class, we will divide our videos in four different parts. This is the first video. In this video, we will include some technical terms and introductions of computer systems. So here, let's start from technical terms. So input. Input means the things what computer accepts from the outside the world, from the users, from the environment, in the form of text, character, command, in the form of program or maybe in the form of sound, light, weight, these all are input. So we can say in short, input is the instructions, command or data given to the computer for processes or that is accepted, received by computer for processing, that is input. And next term is data. Data is the collection of raw fact figures in the form of maybe number, character, letter, symbol, sound, images, light, weight, even. It can be collected by observing, measuring, counting, evaluating. So data are figures, just figures. Unorganized form of any fact that is data and when data can be organized in proper way with some specific purpose that change into the meaningful that is known as information so information is a meaningful or processed form of data on which decisions and actions are taken it is the well organized form of data for the specific purpose it is also called the result or output so next term is processing so processing is the period it is the stage of manipulating organizing calculating the data according to the given instructions for meaningful information that is processing Next, the processing, how does it work? So data can be processed and it can be changed into meaningful information in this way. So next term is instructions. We are using here instructions. So in first point, you can say in input, Input is the collections of data and instructions made. So instructions is the set of code given to the computer or it is the order to the computer to make the computer hardware workable. So instructions is for the machine that understand and work accordingly. Next is the program. Program is the set of instructions. Set of code, set of order that is designed to direct and instruct the computer to perform a specific task. That is the program. So furthermore, some other technical terms we will use in other. So uh, let's uh, hear uh, some specific de definitions about the computer systems. So computer system or computer, it, differ, it defines, it refers the same whether we can say computer only or computer system. It is overall the computer system. 
so it is an electronic device electronic device differ than electric device electric device and electronic device electric device are the device which use direct uh, electric power and more electric power that are electric device like electric fan but electronic device that uses different other devices like a electronic device that accepts input process process and stores them and provides output result output result so uh, also we can say computer is an artificial and programmable machine or device to assist human beings in a different field for the various tasks for the various tasks so green computing is the environmentally responsible and eco-friendly use of computer and their resources so some we can find here uh, like a laptop palm top even tablets other desktop other smartphone different types of smartphones notebook notepad okay and then smartwatch these are the different computing devices so furthermore we can say how does computer work so let's we can say in the form of input processing output so here will be the processing the processing unit or main unit it is the main brain of the computer so that controls that gives the instruction to over all parts all different parts like it's uh, give the instructions to the all input device to accept input and to be ready uh, to give to take the response from the users such as like keyboard mouse joystick scanner light pencil there are many more input device these all input device are ready according to the given instruction by the processing unit to accept response from the users from the outer outside the world and they take the input and send into the processing unit again processing unit uh, give the instructions to be ready to uh, a storage device so that a storage device can hold data uh, accept received by input devices and uh, it functions so first primary uh, memory will be active and primary memory will be continuously communicating with the processing units and it's uh, when it requires it directly communicate with the secondary memory as well as uh, both way they will talk and it also gives the instruction to the output uh, device so that output device can accept data or processing form of information or input and it's provide the result to the users so thank you i would like to conclude with this much information in this video so next see you in next video so if you like please don't forget to like comment and share and if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel thank you thank you dear students